bat. I think this is weird, it's so much black. Okay, let's lean back in my chair. Hello, no, we need to close the door. Hello, star babies, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another installment in my anger series where I talk about a specific zodiac sign's anger responses, how to know they're angry, reasons why they might be angry, and how to remedy it if you've made them angry. I do have other uh, videos that I've already made in this series, so before you request in the comments, please make sure I haven't already made that video. Now, today is going to be about Leo. I'm a Leo. This could be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, uh, and also Leo Mars, because Leo Mars, well, Mars pretty much dictates how someone will respond uh, when angry and things like that. But I do think your other planets, if they're in Leo, can dictate especially why something makes you mad or how you get triggered or how someone gets triggered to be angry. Um, so let's get right into it. So <laughs> a Leo's angry response, and I've spoken about fire sign anger before, it's very, whew, that's how I describe it, only by a noise. Whew, it's like when, you, when you're lighting a stove, a gas stove, and it's like... That's exactly how it feels when somebody makes me angry. And my Mars is in Cancer, so my responses might be a little different and the reasons why I get angry uh, might be a little different than someone with a, a Mars in Leo, but I know the physical feeling of being angry as a fire sign. Um, so it really just is like your whole body gets hot and if someone is in the line of fire when you're angry, it is going down. Leos also are very prideful, so they don't wanna like look crazy like flipping tables and crying and being like that often they still want to maintain their dominance they still want to maintain this sense of like yes you made me angry but like i still look good i'm not a fool and i'm gonna scare you and dominate you so it's okay it's a lot of laughing it's a lot of like okay oh that's cute so you just wanted to talk to her that's so good do you think i'm boo boo the fool like, it's a lot of, you know, I'm just, I sometimes when I talk about signs, I like embody, it's easier for me to embody them rather than to use words. But it's a lot of that, and it's kind of like this crazy look in their eyes like, okay, all right, like, let's make a scene. And yes, there is a lot of clapping, which is funny because Leos love applause. Usually, angry Leos are loud. They're loud, they don't mind making a spectacle, they're not hush-hush people, and they don't usually keep things in and seethe because Leos are expressive people. They really don't, most of the time, if they're, you know, like a pretty high functioning Leo, they don't believe in repressing anything. It's like life is a stage, My all emotions are valid, I feel everything deeply. They're almost like they're all actors. Like I feel so deeply and it's healthy and I'm allowed to respond to those emotions and all of that. So they're not usually like, oh, I'm, I'm so self-conscious about what people think of me that I'm gonna be quiet. They're really self-conscious about what people think of them, but they're, they would rather people look at them. They'd be more nervous if people aren't paying attention to them. Then they're going to be like, people don't like me. If every, you know, unlike a Cancer or a Scorpio where if everyone is looking at you in the room, you're like, people don't like me. As long as, long as all eyes are on the Leo, then everything is good. They can have very, uh, very theatrical language, whether that be a lot of swearing, whether that be a lot of big words to remind you that they are smart, just any way to dominate you and to like strike the fear of God into you. Yeah, and they're just prideful in general, so they're not going to make, well, it depends what you think a fool is, but they're trying not to make a complete fool of themselves. They're trying not to lose it, lose it. They still, they want to be like that beautiful movie angry that's like powerful and badass. They're not gonna be like, you hurt it so badly, I'm gonna flip this table and everyone in this restaurant's gonna look at me. It'll be like, well, I'm gonna throw my drink in your face and everyone in this restaurant's gonna look at me and they're gonna watch me walk away looking so beautiful. It's like, you know what I mean. Okay, so these are some of the responses of an angry Leo. You'll know that they're angry because they pop off, uh, They'll either pop off, like I said, right when you're in the line of fire, they're gonna pop off on you, or they are gonna be very petty on social media and in real life. They are going to call you out, they're gonna pick you apart. Leos are very into physical things, so they can say really mean things about how you look, about your life, oh, you're a loser, really? You work at Starbucks? Just like really like 
coming for your job, coming for your looks, things like that. Um, they can be very, very petty and they can say things that are seriously so hurtful because because they're the expert on pride, they know how to wound people's pride. They like, that's their manipulative, manipulative kind of thing is like, I'm gonna see where everyone's like, what do they call it, the chink in the armor? The I'm gonna see where everyone's weakness in their armor is and it's something to do with their pride. Where do they hold their pride? And I'm gonna make a mental note of that so I can why they might be angry is you've made a fool of them. Now this could either be you've made them look stupid at work, you've made them, you've laughed at them when they are showing one of their talents or their skills that they take very seriously. You could have made fun of their appearance. That's very hurtful. Leos, you know, really care about their appearance. Um, but also it could be, you know, when I've gotten angry, it's because I've been made a fool because I've been lied to. I've been tricked, I've been betrayed by someone. It's not just because they've really broken my trust, because yes, as a Leo, I'm extremely loyal. I value loyalty almost above anything. But it's also because, yes, we, it all comes back to us, what we look like. If you're talking to other girls, you make me look like an oblivious idiot and you make our relationship look stupid. And in effect, make me look stupid. And I'm not stupid, no one else is allowed to make me look stupid except me. In general, also, if you come for their pride in another way, if you, come for their group, you know, how a pride of lions. Um, it's no wonder that, that there's the word pride associated with lions. If you come for people that they love, their family, their partner, if you say, uh, really, you shouldn't be with that guy, da, 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 da. We're so loyal that it's like, don't you dare try to talk about my family. Don't you dare try to talk about people I care about. That is my group. Those are my people. Watch yourself. Ways you can remedy this anger from a Leo is you know, if you've kind of made fun of them, their, their pride is easily wounded. So if you've kind of made fun of them, you know, a little bit loosely and they've taken it too seriously, they can really take things a little bit too, too much to heart, too personally. Let them cool off. Usually they will be the one to be like, I popped off. I was dramatic. They are funny. They'll be like, I was a little too dramatic. I'm sorry. Um, they might not be comfortable apologizing, they might be too prideful, but they'll start acting like they're your friend again. Once they've cooled down, maybe they realize they were wrong or they just want to move on. It's annoying. You might expect an apology, so maybe tell them. Be like, hey, I know you want to go back to being friends, but you popped off on- I know I made you angry and I'm sorry, but the way you reacted to me was like really, you know, I, I kind of expected an apology from you because it was a lot. Um, however, if you've broken their trust, that's difficult. Loyalty is everything, 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 everything to a Leo. And once you've broken their trust, it's very hard to get it back. Do you want a friend or a partner or someone, who, you know, around you who distrusts you? Oh, we're having an unprofessional moment. My camera battery died and I'm now filming on my iPhone. Anyway, do you want to have a partner or a friend who distrusts you, who thinks you're disloyal? Probably not. It's not because what they're going to do is if you're still in their life, they're going to continue to accuse you of betraying them, being disloyal to them, especially as a partner. You know, I've been in, in, in patterns where somebody broke my trust once and then around every corner, there was just an opportunity for them to betray me and for them to make me look stupid. And I was becoming a very accusatory partner and that's not healthy either. So... If they're your friend and they value your friendship, listen, they will they will want to remedy the situation. Leos are just such loyal friends. They do not like just make friends here and there. You know, they're true true friends. They want to keep them around. They're willing to put in the the effort and the time it takes to maintain those friendships. So, I I have faith that you will, you know, patch things up. But, you know, if you've broken their trust, if you've made them look stupid, you have to understand that that's just not, that's not how they roll. You know, if you've cheated on a Leo and they dump you, it's done. But understand that like, you know, if you cheat on someone, like you kind of deserve to be dumped. I'm sorry. Um, everybody makes mistakes. Maybe not some like that, but don't push them. Don't push them to trust you again because they they know when they trust you and it's real hard to rebuild and even if they want you in their life and they'll say yeah i i think i trust you again they might not so um be patient be patient let them cool down but if you've really effed up maybe 
be cool with, with letting them go from your life because Leos are just that stubborn as well. They're like, if you betray me and I popped off and I said you're out of my life forever, well, I kind of have to stick to it because guess what? If I don't stick to my promises, if I don't stick to what I said when I had my big meltdown, I look like a fool and it hurts my pride. You can really, like once you understand Leos, you can really understand how they tick, and I can, as one myself, as I continue to kind of look into the iPhone camera to see, make sure that I look okay during this video. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much. I will talk to you soon. Um, I hope you're enjoying your week. I hope you enjoy this anger series, and yeah, if you're interested, please watch the other ones, and more will be uh, continuing to come. Love you guys so much. Mwah! Bye, guys.